So, for the last time, before we move into Student Towers number 3, let's tackle the Champions League and see if we can send off this place with a point in the Champions League, shall we? Stay tuned. What's up guys, Jason Amney here and welcome back to episode number 104 of Passport to Poland and today we take on, as you can see on your screens, the mighty Manchester United. Now the Champions League is pretty much over for us, we're just, uh, we're just throwing away these games, just seeing if we can get that elusive point. Uh, but since we last met, uh, which was the Barcelona 1-0, very narrow loss at home, we've played Lecce uh, and we've beaten 2-1 with Valdemar Liss and, Tom and Thomas Sindelar, scoring the goals, get my teeth in. Uh, and Jagi Alonia will beat 1-0 with Thomas Sindelar scoring again. Uh, Sindelar isn't necessarily fully fit for the game today, so he's going to be on the bench, but I'll show you the team that we've selected for today now, and we'll see how it all shakes out for us, hopefully better than we hoped. Um, I'd like to get a win, ideally, but a, a draw, I'll take a draw. I'd just like to get off the uh, off the mark, get a point, just so we don't get that embarrassing nil poire. Uh, so the starting line today... Um, is Wilson in goal, Francis Stewart, Bang and Shehak, with Jordao playing as the defensive midfielder behind Silas Diego and Ribeiro with Dostalek as the attacking midfielder. He's unhappy because he wants a new contract and I'm not giving it to him just yet. Uh, Lopez and Sterling will start up top. Uh, Ferle, Pachalski, Black, Glima, Vosniak, Liss and Sindelar on the bench. Sindelar, like I said, not fully fit, so he uh, he is making way for Sterling. Uh, Vosniak not fully fit, but he's just kind of... Uh, He's there as an option if we need him. There are there are other options on the bench we could have thrown in, maybe. Uh, Pleshko, though, not fully fit. Uh, and the others, not really first team, really. Pietras I've used, obviously, a few times. Staviarts has made the first team before. Um, but no one I was desperate to throw in at the deep end for this episode or for this game. So uh, that's the team we're starting with. I am... I've... I've realized over the course of the last few league games that actually the reason or one of the big mistakes I made this season with the Champions League was uh, was not p picking Reese Devine from the squad. I thought Shehak was ready, um, or I said ready, good enough to get us through the Champions League um, at 17, but not quite there sadly, so that's how it's going to, uh, how it's going to have to go for now. Jaden Sancho has signed for Manchester United, I don't know if I noticed that in the last game, but he's signed for Manchester United in the game. Yao Pedro or Cellini Olmo, they're attacking four. Sergei and Aouar, Oar, Or. I'm guessing it's Oar. Um, Chilwell, Dega, Moore, Van Bissaka and uh, De Gea in goal. We've got Chalvez, Tar, Thielmans, Gomez, Hoogland, Anderson and Dembele on the bench. Musa Dembele, that is. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll see what we can do, see what we can achieve today. Uh, let's see if Albert Kovalyov has managed to do a, a good team. Like I said in the intro, this is the last episode I'm doing from uh, from home home uh, before I move to Sunderland tomorrow. Um, so there you go. This is a, a milestone episode, but a short milestone. Student Towers number three is coming tomorrow. Um, I feel like we'll just praise De Gea. dostelec has been playing well. Jordao, if he doesn't last the full match, I've got replacements on the bench. Uh, Jekyll Kowalski will become important. He's gonna be, he's gonna gonna develop. He's not quite there, but we'll see. We'll see how things progress for us. But today, of course, we're in the green. United are in the red, uh, and we'll see how things all shake out for us. Uh, Sterling with the ball to Dostalek, Dostalek to Jordao. Jordao with a big ball over the top to Sterling. Very reminiscent of Alex Rico, who's also not registered. Um, probably could have been, should have been. But uh, you live, you learn. Uh, Olmo, though, on the counter-attack. Can we defend here? We can't. Uh, I think it was Mark Francis looking reluctant to tackle his United team. Or Mark Stewart, sorry. Looking reluctant to tackle his United team. He is, of course, on loan to us from Man United. I'm not sure how he can play, but he's playing. So that's that's life. Francis, though, on the free kick. Can he get it anywhere? Stewart, sorry, Silas Diego there with the header. And again, nothing achieving uh, so far. United at home, by the way, should be our biggest ever attendance. You would think as Stephen Moore gets himself a goal on the back post. I believe Steve Moore is an England international centre-half. Um, yeah, I think this might end up being our record uh, attendance today because United take a big following with them everywhere they go. 
This could be the closest we've come to a sellout. Just a random thought. Um, but there we go. 1-0 uh, down already, which is kind of what I expected. Let's show some passion and see what we can get out of this team. Uh, I'd like it if Mark Stewart could score against his uh, his own team, uh, his, his parent club, but I don't think it's going to happen. Like I said, we're just essentially trying to get a draw here. Shehak with a throw-in. Sterling, back to Shehak. Shehak needs to do something good here. Good cross in, but doesn't really find anything. But Chilwell with a really bad defensive header. Uh, got away slowly with a combination of Orsolini and Wambasaka, but uh, that could, oh, Josh Lopez gets in there, and Josh Lopez should have scored. You've got to take chances like that against a team like Man United, who, of course, in the uh, in the world of this save, are two-time European champions uh, since the state save began. Um, so they are definitely a threat as Juan Bissaka with the ball forward to Olmo to Orsolini. Let's try and get back, do some defending. We know how to defend. We've done it many times before, just never in this season's Champions League. And they've decided that, rightfully, to be honest, that that left-hand side of defence is our weakness. And Wire with a ball to Juan Bissaka. Juan Bissaka with a ball forward to Orsolini. Orsolini has options but goes all the way back. Ball over the top to Juan Bissaka who has acres of space. Let's try some defending. Let's try anything. That's a hell of a shot. And Wilson with a save showing why most of Europe is trying to secure his services. I think trying to keep hold of him in January is going to be a real issue. So it's a good job we've got Sarnowski not playing at the moment because otherwise I'd have both goalkeepers wanted, I think. Uh, Sterling gets tackled as he tries to make it down the line and uh, we are back to uh, back to nothing happening. Um, good to have a breather. We're, we're dominating possession. We finally had a shot on goal, but we're not going to see it. Uh, shot on target, I should say, with Lopez. Uh, but we uh, we need to do more. Uh, Nick Francis has been booked, which is, of course, never, ever beneficial. Into the dressing room. Sympathise. It worked. They've relaxed. Let's see if that has any benefits to us in the second half. We're going to do a get creative shout. See if we can inspire something going forward. Uh, Sterling not really putting in the performance we need from Dostalek. Not performing, but of course, we've got Valdemar Liss available. And Klaus Bang not performing as well. So it's easy to see at this stage who the subs are going to be. Um, I don't know why. I had it set up so that the assistant manager would make changes for me. And it's not doing it. I don't want to ease off tackles with Nick Francis. He's not really massively red card prone. He tends to calm down once he gets a booking. So we're going to hope we can... You know, keep him on the field, keep him on the straight and narrow. Jaden Sancho's picked up an injury. That's beneficial. I was going to say good, but that sounds really cruel. Uh, let's make some subs. Uh, Dostalek is looking nervous, so let's see if Valdemar Liss can come in and be the big game player we know he can be. Uh, I'm going to take off Klaus Bang as well. I think it's probably going to have to be Dave Black in there. We'll make those changes. We'll hold off on Sterling because Sterling does at least offer us something uh, in terms of leadership when he finally sort of settles into a game. Sterling's picked up the ball on the left. Back to Liss, who looks very tiny on this pitch right now. Uh, Shehak. Oh, Shehak's giving it away to Olmo and they're going to score a second goal here. You can feel it coming. He's clean through. Wilson with a save. What a save. Shehak playing us into trouble, and uh, yeah, like I said, he's definitely the weak link in this side. Uh, he will get better, he will develop into a top player, he just maybe doesn't quite have the experience, he's not necessarily a big game guy right now. He could be, he should become a big game player, Olmo has also picked up an injury, so we're forcing subs out of them. Um, and you know, Sterling has come back into the game, which is definitely of benefit to us. Stewart. What can he do? Ball forward to Valdemar Liss. Valdemar Liss. Can he be the man that gets us the elusive draw? Francis on the right-hand side. Doesn't quite find a way through with his cross. That should be cleared easily by Stuart Is and Jordan Dow has picked up to Black. Dave Black spends too long on the ball and now is going to score. Oh, ah. That was very, very lucky and our, our, our everything is crumbling. Everything is crumbling. This defence does not look rock solid. Uh, I feel like I might take Josh Lopez off and put Sindelar in because that feels smart. It's probably not. It's probably a really stupid idea. Um, <clears throat> and see if Sindelar can get himself a goal. 
ball in. There we go, back post, and that was Josh Lopez. That's going to get called back for offside. That's going to get called back for offside. It has far strikes again in Manchester United's favour. At least it wasn't a penalty after the whistle. He was offside, to be fair. But, uh, you know... Come on, ref. Give us, uh, give us, give us the little bit of benefit of the doubt, just a touch, just so we can make this interesting for our fans. Give them something to cheer. I don't think we're going to get the elusive point today. I think we're going to have to wait till after the move and hope that a change of scenery gives us a change of attitude going forward. And we'll try and chase that elusive point against Napoli instead, which is going to be our next game. There's a few games between Napoli and now, uh, so that's uh, that's worth bearing in mind. Um, looking at what's going to come up in a second once we've got out of the the loading screen so fixtures um we've got Vistler crack off in the league alana to run in the fa cup and then we'll come back against pogon uh and then uh, then it's napoli and then uh, after the napoli game we'll start making our way into the new season i don't think we need to see piasta and corona no one wants to see corona again if we're honest so we'll come back after napoli we'll come back for napoli in the next episode and then we'll come back for Gornick, where hopefully I'll have kept hold of the core of the squad. And we'll see if we get a transfer budget we can do something with. Currently in the league, by the way, I forgot to show you this at the start of the episode. Currently in the league, we're sitting top. We are two points clear of Ledger. A fourth consecutive title looks like it's on the cards. And we're in a position where, as a league, we can jump the championship, possibly. So worth bearing in mind. But... For now, I should show you the finances, because finances are going to be an issue as well. I should point this out, so we may have to make a sale as just making the right sale in January, because we're projected to lose £15 million. The only guy I've got who's probably going to get a £15 million bid for is Valdemar Liss. So, sad times could be ahead if I need to balance the books. But, for now, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I have, as always, been Chasing Limley. Please don't forget to hit me up on the socials below, Twitter, Insta and Patreon. Uh, I'll put out, when, I, when I've moved and I've got myself set up, I'll put out a channel update just to reiterate things that are going on for FM21 uh, to let you know what's going on with the FM United game as well. Um, all sorts of various updates, but they'll be coming. Um, in the meantime, guys, don't forget to the like and subscribe buttons because that's where you'll find more content from me. Uh, ring the bell to get notified as soon as it pops up. That's all the good stuff, all the YouTube standard basis exit stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I've been chasing Lamely. Have a good one.